Inry of the Intelligence Agency GCHQ by visiting its original home in central London. When it first opened, Watergate House was known as the Government Code and Cipher School and was a top secret location. Our Royal Correspondent Sarah Campbell reports. Back to work for the Queen after her winter break. It was here in 1919 that GCHQ was formed, an organisation which over the years has quietly gone about its business of keeping Britain safe. I'm honoured, Your Majesty, to ask you to unveil the plan. Today, a royal unveiling, making public this London building's secret past. Then known as the Government Code and Cipher School, it changed its name to the more mysterious GCHQ and relocated to Bletchley Park. It was there, during the Second World War, that codebreakers cracked the Germans' Enigma machine, revealing messages which would prove crucial in winning the war. 92-year-old Ruth Bourne was one of those secretly working for GCHQ. Today, she was able to share stories about her work with a fellow 92-year-old. Back then, she could tell no one. I think it was clever psychologically that we didn't know how important it was. I'm sure it was straight out of sixth form. Um, had we known, it would have been so much more difficult to keep a secret. Recruiting the next generation of cyber experts is a priority. These Berkshire schoolgirls might just be among them, as they won a GCHQ-run competition testing computing and coding skills. I didn't realise how much I liked it until I did the competition and I've been to all these cool events and it's really inspired me to do it. So worth winning the competition so you could um, meet the Queen, that's pretty impressive as a prize. Yeah, definitely. And any budding code breakers can test their skills on the newly placed plaque, which contains not one, but two messages hidden in code. Sarah Campbell, BBC News. Time now for a look at the...